We are talking CPL and with me in studio we have Director of Cricket, Mr. Tom Moody. Good morning and how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Now I'd like to ask you, would you claim this year's CPL as a success and why? Uh, very much so. Again, we've seen growth in uh, you know, people not only here in the Caribbean but sort of uh, worldwide uh, watching the tournament. Uh, you know, so all the numbers you know, indicate that uh, you know, it's continuing to grow and you know, continuing to be a popular uh, format coming out of the Caribbean, so it's great news. All right. Now, there have been talk about the Talawas leaving Jamaica. I want to talk a little bit about that and then possibly setting up in Miami. Since Jamaica is the historical venue for cricket, would you say that Jamaica will have a new franchise? I think, firstly, you know, there, there has been rumours that that, uh, that that may well happen, but uh, they're unfounded rumours, uh, and that's all they are. Certainly at this stage, uh, Talawas are going anywhere. They're uh, playing their cricket in, in Jamaica for the, you know, the, the, certainly the, the near future. I think the rumour came about because of the, the, the new ownership uh, with the Talawas and they come out of uh, Florida, but uh, certainly we don't anticipate any moves. Now, some are saying that the CPL is too long and it's too drawn out. How do you comment on that? Yeah, it's an interesting point you make uh, because this is probably one of the smallest leagues, uh, you know, in, in all the franchise leagues around the world. Uh, you know, the IPL, for instance, the, 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 the league out of India is nearly twice as long as the CPL. So it's interesting people say that, but, you know, you know we feel it's, uh, you know, the right length, uh, you know, and it, it climaxes to the finals week, which is right in the middle of with our first game tonight. Now, this year, the CPL played during the same time West Indies were playing in England. Um, how would you say that has affected the CPL? And if it did affect it, what would be the plans moving forward for 2018? Yeah, look, it's a, it's a challenge uh, for us, like it is for all the leagues that uh, around the world, you know, with the, with the international fixturing. Uh, you know, ideally, we would like uh, to have a window where we have all the wind, uh, West Indies players available. But uh, it, it wasn't to be this year. We certainly, uh, moving forward, hope that uh, that we have all the West Indies players available to play in the in the league. I don't think it's had any effect at all. I think, uh, if anything, they've gone quite nicely hand in hand. It's allowed, you know, the followers and the fans in the West Indies to, to follow their Test side and, and look upon that series and be very proud of it, particularly given the you know the results they've had and also have the entertainment that the CPL provides uh, in the evening. So, you know, we think it's dovetailed nicely. I want to talk a little bit about this skill set. Have you seen, in, in particular, any uh, cricketers emerging this year, standing out, improving? Yeah, I think there's uh, constant improvement. I think that the beauty of a tournament uh, like this is that you don't only see the odd star shine. What you see is the, the depth of quality improve. Um, so, you know, what we're seeing is is players coming into the league uh, better prepared and uh, better equipped to have an impact. So, you know, a lot of that's to do with one, having a, a competition that has a, a high standard, which the CPL for, provides, but it's also a competition that's got, you know, international stars playing in it, not only local stars, as in, you know, there's a lot of top West Indian players playing in the tournament, but a lot of internationals that share their knowledge with all the, the, the young emerging talent here in the Caribbean. So we have a game tonight and one on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Is it that the loser of tonight's game will be playing the winner of Wednesday's game? Ha, ha, no, t t tonight is first and second playoff okay. and the winner of that goes straight to the final. And tomorrow's match is the third place team and the fourth place team and the, and the winner of that match will play the loser of tonight's match. So effectively the bonus for the team, the two teams that come first and second is they get two chances to make the final. Now, the finals is going to be played at the Brian Lara Stadium, which is a new venue. How confident are you in terms of this actual venue and also this move bringing success? Yeah, we're very confident. Um, you know, it's a, it's a terrific facility. Uh, it it, it uh, seats more spectators, so, you know, they're rapidly uh, filling up and uh, we expect it to be a great success. The, the ground itself, the facility itself is very good, uh, excellent outfield and good wickets so we should see plenty of runs, plenty of action. So uh, if you haven't got your ticket, get yourself down there. I presume you've got yours. Not yet. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> now would you say um, the CPL has been profitable thus far? Yeah, I think, you know, you know, from a numbers point of view, I can't really comment, but certainly from a popularity point of view, it, uh, it definitely has profited. Uh, you know, as I mentioned uh, earlier, it's, uh, it's, 
it's gathered huge momentum over the last few years and it'll continue to do so because cricket really is in the in in the hearts of the people here in the caribbean and i think it's in the hearts of you know everyone around the globe likes to see the west indies playing their brand of cricket and uh, the cpl is uh, a great vehicle for them to do that in your overview you may have recognized some challenges this time around can you identify some of those challenges and how do you plan to chart the way forward in terms of cushioning the, the impact in the future? Uh, I think in, in my role, it's, it's cricket specific. Um, it's probably best if I stick with those challenges, and that is constantly uh, trying to get the best players in the world uh, uh, to play in this tournament. And the challenge there is the, the international fixturing. And uh, not every team is available during the window that we play the CPL. Um, it'll be wonder if, wonderful if we had a clear window and we could have access to every player around the world. Uh, but that's not the case. So it's 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 attracting the best players in the world here, uh, and it's not an easy. It's sorry, it's an easier thing to do uh, than in most other places, purely because it's a wonderful place to play cricket and everyone's attracted to the Caribbean. And the other thing is constantly providing uh, facilities and, and uh, match facilities, more importantly, that uh, are world class. So the players can really put on a show. You know, what we want to see is, uh, is top quality action uh, where we have high scoring games and, and, and teams, uh, you know, manage to challenge and chase down those totals. Would you say the response has been encouraging so far? If not, let's talk a little bit about marketing strategies and what do you think should be employed? Yeah, I think it, it, it has been uh, successful. Uh, and with regards to, to marketing, uh, you know, I'm cricket specific, so it's, you, you we'll have to get someone else to sit in here. But I think, you know, the marketing is very much on track because, as I touched on, the growth of the game uh, has, uh, has definitely been significant here in the Caribbean over the last few years. And the most important thing for a tournament like this is what, who it attracts and, and how many people it attracts. And what we're seeing is huge traction uh, with the, you know, the youth and, and interest shown in the game. And that's ultimately what you're wanting, is more people watching the game, interested in the game and playing the game. And uh, you know, we'll see in time uh, West Indies cricket continue to improve just purely because there's more people participating in it and, uh, and more people wanting to be a part of the journey. Now you spoke a little bit about the youth and, and youth being drawn to the games. Let's talk a little bit about social media and the role that you think it can play in possibly marketing and mm. taking CPL and cricket to the next level. Well, it's, it's enormous really. We, we've seen a huge growth in, in social media. We have a, a, a terrific following in all the platforms that we have uh, and Facebook in particular has been uh, something that has grown quite considerably for us. Um, you know, we show uh, you know all the games through Facebook Live uh, to all those uh, places that don't uh, have the game uh, shown uh, through their t t you know usual television streaming. So uh, everywhere you can be anywhere in the world. You can be on your holiday in Venice and you can be watching the CPL if you like. Great, so very convenient. There you go. <laughs> so you know it's uh, it's an avenue that we are very aware of, making sure that uh, we're on top of and and leaders in that area. And this year. I think again has been a significant step up from previous years. My final question to you, it's been a, in its fifth year currently, what are the plans for the next five years, your vision? Yeah, continuing to, to, to grow it here in the Caribbean but also continuing to, to, to explore our opportunities in America. You know, we, we feel given that the Caribbean is right on the doorstep of America, uh, there's a huge opportunity there to, to, to grow the CPL. Uh, the last couple of years we've played games in Florida. Um, we may well see uh, in, the, in the not too distant future uh, teams in America. So not taking away teams from here in the Caribbean, but adding teams uh, so we have a, a bigger uh, and broader tournament that uh, captures uh, a bigger audience. Closing comments. Tonight's game, tomorrow's game. Tell us, what can we expect? Uh, well, you can expect a great contest because we've got, uh, I think, the four best teams uh, you know, in the finals. Uh, they've been the most consistent. Um, uh, the, the, the home side here, uh, TKR, have been probably the most consistent. Um, you know, I, I think the, the fans here can expect them to see them in the final. Uh, whether they can do it just in one 
step, and that's winning tonight uh, against uh, the Patriots will, will, will yet to be seen, But because uh, the Patriots have been a, a terrific side as well. So plenty of action and, and, and something not to be missed. Mr. Moody, it was a pleasure having you on our program this morning. Thank you so much for taking the time to Thank do you. so. Thank you. Cheers. And best of luck. Thank you.